In a country known for its sluggish bureaucracy, the process to amend the constitution seems to be breaking all the records. Only a week after Putin's surprise announcement that he wants to change the distribution of power, lawmakers have voted unanimously to adopt a hastily written draft. While lawmakers will get some more powers, like approving ministers, the presidency will be strengthened too by giving the head of state more control over the judiciary. We have a presidential republic and there is no reason to move to parliamentary republic. Russia is not only the biggest country in the world and a great state, but it is also a country that unites many nations and religions. Analysts believe that President Putin is changing the constitution to create a way to stay in power after 2024, but nobody yet understands how. There's a term for people who try to explain the policies and plans of Russia's head of state, Kremlinologists. But Putin's most recent moves have left all of them guessing. While many believed after his annual speech that he will step down when his term finishes four years from now, a week later, some are not so sure. On the day Putin moved to change the constitution, his ally, Prime Minister Medvedev, was replaced by the largely unknown head of the tax office, Mikhail Mishustin. A few days later, he appointed a new cabinet, leaving many Russians puzzled by the speed in which these changes are taking place. What we see is the strengthening of presidential power, but we don't see anything to counterbalance it. Therefore, it seems to me that out of all possible scenarios, the one where Putin somehow just stays in power and keeps all this authority looks more likely now than it was a week ago. Whatever game of chess Putin is playing, the head of the Constitutional Commission has denied that he can run for president again. The second parliamentary hearing to adopt the amendments will be held on February 11. Once parliament approves them, the people of Russia will get a chance to vote as well. Although it's not sure how and if that outcome will have any impact. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Moscow.